Good evening. Uh, I was told tonight to talk about thankfulness. So uh, if you have your Bibles, you can turn to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. 1 Thessalonians 5, chapter 18. It says, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Um, I think the passage is, this is what God wants from your life and what God wants you to do for him. And I feel furthermore that you should be focused on being thankful for what God gives to you and what God just offers in your life, even though you may go through hard times, you may go through good times, you're always gonna struggle in life, but just always be thankful for what you have and what you have going on in your life. Um, with me, uh, I'm thankful for a lot. Uh, I'm thankful for sports. I'm thankful that I'm always active. I'm on the go, never just sitting around. Um, I like to help people out a lot and just bless that. Um, I have a good family, a loving family, and just people that care for me all around. So that verse is just, that's what I took away from that verse, is just be thankful for what you have no matter what, and just always give back to God. Um, second verse I would like to turn to is Psalms chapter 50, verse 14. Um, here, this verse says, offer to, th offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Uh, let the giving of thanks be your sacrifice to God, kind of, is what I got from this. Is God is, he's always there no matter what, and God is just, he's always great with what he does for you and what he does for others. And even though God may put you through a certain situation that you weren't ready for. You should always be thankful for that situation because you can always learn something from that situation. And I feel like him sacrificing his son and washing away our sins is something that we should be very thankful for because it's something that many of us wouldn't do and it's something that many of us would have a hard time just making a decision in the first place. And and just that alone, just giving your only son should be enough to just take time away from your day and just give back to God and just be thankful for what he has done for you in your life and where you've come from in your life. Um, I feel that if you're not thankful to God, then really what is your purpose of being here and not like being focused in church. You don't like, like, for example, you could be in class, teachers talking, but you're not really focused in on the lesson. You're not really thankful for what God has done for you because he's trying to give you something to get you to heaven. And something that you could be thankful for is getting to heaven. And I feel that God, God is just, he's always moving in my life and he's always around and he always shows me that he's around. And I'm always thankful for that. And it helps me guide me through classes, tests, uh, practice, just coaches pushing me hard, coaches on me. I'm always thankful for that because he's trying to make me a better person. And I feel that that's how most of us should be. Don't look at it as a negative, always look at it as a positive. Just learn that a lot from my coaches and just more people that I've been around. And the closer you get with God, the more thankful you will be for what God has done in your life. Finally, we can turn to Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. Um, before I read this, um, this is just like, what has, what has God called you to do? Uh, God has guided you to make a decision. God has guided you to go somewhere you didn't want to go. Go out one night, you didn't want to go out. Go help somebody you didn't want to help. I feel that if you, you strive to be a person that God has wanted you to be, and you always put forth your 100% effort, you always come out with the best. And I feel that that's what you should be thankful for, is that no matter what, you can always come out with a positive. And that nothing can ever be negative in your life, no matter what's going on. 
just everything that you do, everything that you put forth, 100% effort, even if you don't put 100% effort, still be thankful that you were able to even able to put in some effort at least. Because some people just, some people aren't able to put in the effort that you're able to put in. But this, uh, this verse says, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts to which also you were called in one body and be thankful. Uh, what this is saying is to put all, put all your problems to God and set aside your time to come back, refocus, be with him, be thankful for what he's done for you and your family or just anybody in your life or just you alone. Um, set aside your time to desire, desire and be thankful for the trials and tribulations that God has given to you in your life and faced you with. Um, with me, uh, sports is just the main thing. That's what I can talk about, really. That's just what I'm focused in. That's, that's what I like. That's what I can talk about. Um, I'm just thankful that uh, all the opportunities I've gotten in my life, just like traveling with baseball, traveling with basketball, just any sport, really, just meeting new people. I'm thankful for that. The people I come across, uh, I met many different people, many different people, along with people I may not like, people I may not get along with. Um, Maybe a coach I didn't get along with. Just I'm always thankful for it no matter what and whatever I go through. And I feel that that's how we should be too because that's how God wants us to be. And I feel that that would be the best version of yourself as long as you're always thankful. And if there's anything that the church can offer or help you with, please come forward. Us together, we stand and sing.